Welcome to an introduction to the human brain. You're going to spend the next five minutes exploring how your brain works, and you'll discover how to learn even more effectively. In order to do this, we need to go deep inside your amazing brain. This spider-like structure you can see right now is a brain cell or neuron. There's a huge amount of these inside your brain. There's a hundred billion in total. That works out to be ten times the population of the world. Neurons enable us to see, hear, smell, taste, feel, think and learn. And they do this by connecting together to form a specific neural pattern. An electrical charge links the cells together across something called the synaptic gap. So the neurons fire together to create networks or pathways. And as I said before, you have a distinct neural pathway for everything you see, hear, feel, think and learn. So we have a hundred billion brain cells inside our brains, which is a huge amount. Each brain cell is capable of connecting with thousands of other brain cells and forming what is known as neural pathways. And it's really, really important to make sure that if you're learning something new, you create these connections, but you repeat them enough times because brain cells that fire together will ultimately wire together. And it's very much like um, taking a walk in the woods or in the park. You'll notice here, we're in the park right now, and there's loads of green spaces where there are no paths. But there are certain spaces within a park where there is a pathway. And this path exists because it's a runner's pathway, a jogger's pathway, and lots of runners have gone up and down, creating this really, really defined path. And the same thing works with your brain. You have to go up and down, repeat enough times until you establish a really strong pathway. And that's when you really know something and have knowledge inside your brain. So when you're learning something new, if it's a sport, or a subject of school, if you want to learn it properly, you need to repeat enough times so you establish a really strong neural pathway. Just like creating a pathway in the park. There are two sides of the brain. There is the left brain hemisphere and the right brain hemisphere, and the two have different skills associated to them. The left brain is more logical, and the right side of the brain is more about imagination and the big picture perspective. If you want to get the most out of your brain, it's really important to use all of these skills. If we take one of the great minds from the past, Albert Einstein, he was a physicist and a mathematician, which requires a lot of left brain qualities, order, numbers, logic, and language at the same time. But he was also incredibly imaginative and had used daydreaming to help him explore a challenge or a problem. He used both sides of the brain. Your brain needs oxygen to make it work, and it gets this from your blood. Every minute, three cans of blood are pumped into your brain. This enables us to think. Incredibly, we can think up to 50,000 thoughts every single day. To give you a sense of just how amazing your brain is, if you were to play supercomputer versus brain, the computer would have to be the size of several football pitches to match the brain's processing powers. Now you've had a chance to explore your amazing brain, you can now explore amazing memory, amazing thinker, amazing reader, and amazing reviser.